On a curbside in Burien, high school students are learning firsthand that change is possible. These teens are part of an eight week program put on by a nonprofit called Choose 180. This week, the goal to lead the teens along a different path than the one they've been on. Brian Hewitt hopes this week's project is like nothing these kids have done before. All the metal they're shaping is the byproduct of pistols and rifles surrendered for this very purpose. Hewitt is a volunteer blacksmith for the nonprofit Raw Tools. They have one goal, turn guns to garden tools. Yeah, I'm taking something that you think is permanent and um, can't be bent and um, heated up and then they could actually see it shape with their each blow. Uh, it's empowering. Through heat and hammers, the metal slowly changes form. The handles are carefully carved into shape. Some of the wood comes from the stock of rifles. Guns are like, you know, they can be used in both ways, good or bad. So like, yeah, I feel like it's a good way to like make something that could be a negative thing to the world into like something positive. A project that resonates with both the students and staff. I'm making it in honor of a former student of mine um, who took his own life with a, with a pistol. Pistols and rifles that will soon take on a new look, serve a new purpose. That you're more than, than the worst thing you've done. Um, even if you've been causing harm, you don't have to keep causing harm. We can, we can always make, make something better out of, out of whatever's in front of us. While these students may never work with metal again, the hope is that they'll learn change is always possible. In Burien, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.